What's going on Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video. So guys, I'm live right now and that is because Janice is waiting for me in the car outside. We gotta go pick up some food from Miguel and Gab. Gab has been making us meals because, you know, we really don't have much time to cook. I know you guys have been saying, like, what's up with all the fast food meals and all that. So this is an alternative that we're gonna try. And so far, it's been working out. Gab could really, like, cook her ass off. But the last video, you guys said that you guys wanted to see Janice's tattoo because she says she got some additional ones and she's been at the tattoo shop for like the past four weekends which I don't know how I feel about because I'm not getting attention at home but besides the point when you guys started commenting that you wanted to see the tattoos I had a great idea your boy is basically gonna be saying that I liked my girlfriend better when she didn't have tattoos now I don't want to see any comments oh my god that's really how he feels he thinks she's ugly with tattoos that's not the case I actually think her having tattoos is pretty hot she actually has one like on her ribs her arm her ankle, she got tattoos all over the place. But I thought this would just be a great prank and I honestly wanna see her reaction when I tell her like, babe, I think you look better when you didn't have tattoos. She's either gonna get really upset, like sad, or she's gonna get mad and angry, maybe curse me out, I don't know. But either way, we're gonna find out. If you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, comment down below, Team Isaiah all day every day. Let's get it. What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So right now, we're about to be on our way to Miguel, my best friend. You think him and Gab are the one that have been cooking for us? No, just Gab, but I doubt that you Miguel You don't think he's cooks. been helping? You don't think so? You don't I think don't he think passed so. her a spoon or two? No. All right, well, guys, Gab has been making us food. For those of you who don't know who Gab is, that is my best friend's girlfriend, or fiance, I should say. Fiance. Yeah, fiance. Fiance, excuse me. She'll kill me if she heard that. <laughs> but she's been making us food. It's kind of like an alternative rather than to getting fast food all the time because, honestly, it's not healthy, and it's kind of expensive eating out every single day. So she's been cooking us meals here and there, and they actually are, like, bomb, like, pretty damn good yeah like they're 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 up here top tier kind of stuff but right now we're gonna go pick up a couple of meals from her and we're gonna get on with the rest of the day all right babe so you know how in the last video you said that you went to the tattoo shop and you got some additional tattoos and stuff yes all right so they commented a lot saying that they want to see your tattoos and what you got and all that type of stuff so why don't we give them that at the end of the vlog okay. we show off your tattoos are you gonna explain what they mean or you don't feel comfortable doing that um i'm probably just I'll just like give a general idea. I mean, some of them are pretty obvious. So. I want them. I want you guys to guess right now. Comment down below how many tattoos you think Janice has. <laughs> I don't even know how many tattoos you have. I don't even know how many tattoos I have. I just get them. What would you say was your most painful tattoo? Um. I'm gonna assume it was your rib. I'm gonna no. assume that. It's not your rib tattoo? No. I barely felt my rib and everybody always says rib tattoos are like the most painful and that was actually like the second tattoo I got and I didn't feel anything. I think my most painful tattoo was like the one that's right here. I forgot you had that one. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't even know how many you have. Yeah, that was my most painful one, but I feel like it all depends on the tattoo artist to be honest and I feel like my tattoo artist is pretty rough. All right, guys, hold on. Give me one second. Hold on, the lighting, whoa. All right, guys, give me one second. We just pulled up to Miguel's job. I'm gonna get the food from him and then we'll continue this whole tattoo conversation. Got the food. She even gave me a green juice. I'm so excited. It has like kale, apple, pear, cucumber, and celery. And she told me that she wants to help me with my vegetable intake. I need help with that. Well, you're not gonna drink this. Would you drink this? What is it? What's in it? What? Kale, apple, pear, cucumber, and celery. Ah, uh, see, it's the kale that scares me. I don't know. Kale be tasting like grass to me, but I, I'll take a sip. I'll take a sip. But I, I'm probably not gonna like it if I'm being honest with you. Too bad. It's mine. Why the so, way? What were we talking about before? We were the, talking about my tattoos. Okay, so yeah, the tattoos. You you said you're gonna give them like a, a overview of them, like you're gonna tell them like what it means and stuff like that. No, I'm just gonna like basically just say like a broad thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all my tattoos just represent like members of my family as well as like some stuff that has to do with mental health okay well i was actually thinking this morning because i like i said i was looking at the comments yesterday mm -hmm. i was actually thinking this morning about your tattoos i feel like you looked better when you didn't have tattoos <laughs> like when you had like no tattoos at all i feel like you looked like like you was you was there that's not something like nice to say. I'm just being honest. I'm just saying like how I feel. I feel like your tattoos, I don't know, they they brought you down a bit. Like you were like you were like above a ten and now I feel like you're like a nine. Okay, your well, I just went down one point, I guess. 
because I have tattoos, but that doesn't really make any sense. How does you that make any sense? Because you should find me attractive no matter what I do to myself. I do find you attractive. A nine is still attractive. Okay. <sighs> Why are you, like, getting offended? You seem like you're, like, a little peeved off about it. Because, like, everybody always has to have, like, such a negative opinion on my tattoos. But Who it's, has like, a negative opinion on your tattoos? A lot of people, actually. Who? A lot of people. Who had a negative opinion on your tattoos? Well, irregardless, you're one of them. You're, like, literally saying right now that... My, I look better without them. It's but, not like I could take it back now. Like, it's babe, not it's like not I like you're ugly. It's not like you're ugly. I'm not saying like no, your thanks, tattoos. Thanks for that. I'm just saying your tattoos didn't make you ugly. I'm just saying your tattoos brought you down a bit. Like you were like a. You I know, understood what you said. You don't have yeah, to repeat yourself. Yeah. Like now you're like a nine. That's all I'm saying. That's still attractive. Like that's still hot. Okay. Whatever. I don't know. I just feel like when you had no ink on you, it, you just looked. Uh, better i guess to say the least okay well there's nothing that i can do about that now so you either just accept me how i am or well i have no choice they're, they're permanent i have no choice yeah okay would you get it removed if i asked you to no what? i'm not gonna do anything if you ask me to what if about it's something that i like then i'm gonna keep it like just because you don't like it doesn't mean i'm gonna change it Infinite fam, don't you guys think that she would look better with like out tattoos, like without all that ink on her and all? I don't, don't know. Don't ask that because there's so many people out there that would say yeah. But I honestly, if oh. I like it, if it's on my body, then I don't care. I understand, babe. But all right, what if you remove like the rib tattoo? What if you remove that one? What's wrong with the rib tattoo? I'm just saying, what if you remove it? I think that one, I don't know, maybe. Maybe you'd be back at a 10 if you remove the rib tattoo. But what's wrong with the rib tattoo? I'm just saying, I think it look I think you'd look better with I like the rib one. Like, you know, you'd go back up to like a 10 or like, you know, higher. But what? Than that. You're not answering my question. What about the rib tattoo? Ba nothing specifically is wrong with the so rib tattoo. Why are you I'm just specifically saying. Specifically pointing out to remove the rib one. Cuz that one's just like by itself. It's alone and all that. All the other ones they're like on your arm and you know, you got one on your ankle and all that, but the ankle is really not visible like that. The arm one just makes no sense. You'd have to remove all of it on your arm. Which which just leaves the rib that's by itself so why not just remove the rib tattoo maybe you you know you'd go back up on my scale you can't remove tattoos like yeah, you, you can. can no you can't it takes a few sessions but you can yeah but it's not gonna be like completely gone like if i were to do that i would have to just like right. get it lasered and then get something on top of it okay but all right maybe maybe you should do that then i thought about it okay well get rid of it let's let's remove i'm it. not gonna do it just because you're telling me to do it though that's that's what i'm trying to get you to understand babe why are you getting so defensive though? i'm like, not you're getting like, offensive i feel like you're snappy feel, right now no like, i'm not i'm, just, I'm saying, just literally talking like a normal person okay me too but i you're just getting want defensive. you to understand that i'm not gonna do something just because you're telling me to do something okay and that's fine if i i'm just giving you like my opinion I, okay and i'm telling you if i feel like i want to do it then I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm not going to do something because you don't like it or because you don't want me to have it or whatever the case may be. I'm going to do it if I want to do it. And that's just how it's going to be. <sighs> Babe, I'm just simply giving my opinion and you're over here just... You're, you're taking it to another step. I'm no, just, I'm not. I'm literally just I'm, saying babe, what I'm saying. Okay, and all I'm saying is that if you remove your tattoos, you'd be more attractive. Ooh. That's all I'm saying. Okay, like, well, I can't remove my tattoos. My tattoos like, are here. Right, I get it. And it is what it is. Like you're I, right. It is what it is at this point. It's permanent. You're right. It so is what's what the point is. of you even like trying to bring me down? Like, I'm not trying to bring you that. down. I'm just giving yeah, you, you my are. opinion. Babe, my intention is not to bring you down. I'm just giving you my opinion. That's oh, all I'm doing. Oh, so like what in your brain is like, oh yeah, this isn't going to hurt her feelings or bring her down by me saying that she's going to be more attractive without them or she was. Like, that makes no sense. <sighs> okay, babe. Never mind. Whatever. Never mind. All right, guys. So... Despite the conversation that just went on, I guess we will see you guys back in the house because we're pulling up right now. Are you going to be upset for the rest of the day just because of the conversation? Yeah, of course I'm going to be upset. What do you mean? Why? Like, why would you even say something like that to me? Babe, it's simply just an opinion. I don't care. Like, you're supposed to, like, bring me up, not, like, bring me down. I'm not bringing you yes, down. Yes, you are. I'm, just I'm giving... telling you that you brought me down by saying that. All right, well, can I tell you just one more thing? What? This is just a prank. <laughs> How is it a prank? Because I already did an intro when you were in the car waiting for me. When I told you I had to use the bathroom, I was doing an intro. And I already told him I don't want to see comments. Oh, that's how he really feels about her tattoos. That I actually said it's kind of hot. So, yeah. You're not going to hear me say that again because I'm not trying to gas you up. What? <laughs> Your tattoos, they make you hot, right? They, feel like they, they, they fit your aesthetic, okay? okay. And that, we're not going to speak on it again. That's the last time I'm going to say that. <laughs> Can you say Team Isaiah? No. Come on. No. Say, why can't you Try ever give me... What? Try the juice. Here, hold the camera. 
I'll try it. You're gonna hate it, I already know. Did you spill it? Get no, it together! It's dripping off the side. I didn't spill it. Okay. I just mopped. <laughs> Drink it up. I'm scared. Kale, apple, pear, cucumber, celery. You should be did, scared. Did you shake well? It says yes. shake well. It's not that bad. I thought it was gonna taste way worse. Yeah, you could taste the celery a lot though in there. It's actually not bad though. Like, right? I don't know if I could finish a whole glass of this, <laughs> but I can definitely like down like half of one with no issue. It's yeah. actually not that bad. This is actually pretty good. It is pretty good. Well, Gab, Gab is the goat. Gab is the goat. Definitely. <laughs> Go, but say to myself, come on, give me credit. No, give me credit at least one time, bro. You never give me credit. Do that again. You never give me credit. Wow, I didn't know you could reach up there. <laughs> it's hard being six four. All right. <laughs> Give me that. All right, guys, so before we close out today's video, we're going to give a tour of Janice's body. This is the only tour of her body that you guys will ever get. But go ahead, babe. Explain your tattoos. All right, so these are my tattoos. Zoom into that. Zoom into that. Very nice. Very nice. Look at the detail. The mm -hmm. snaky snake. Okay. This one's fresh right there. That one's mm -hmm. fresh. Rotate. Uh, they didn't get that one up top. Yeah, look at that. Look at that eye. The eye is crazy. Right? Shout out to JJ. Right. Shout out to JJ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see the rib. Alright, this is the rib one. Look at that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that that one wasn't the most painful one. It honestly wasn't. And then my last one. Pee-wee. Is Pee-wee. Let's see Pee-wee. Is... Look at Pee-wee, guys. He's a little ghosty ghost. <laughs> guys, my socks are super tight on my ankle right now. Yeah, they can tell. <laughs> You're squeezing your ankles. <laughs> so, don't judge. But... <clears throat> I'm just gonna do like a basic like overview. So this was my first one. My grandmother like wrote this out to me and I ended up finding it out um, in a book that she wrote like years after she passed. And then this one is my mom and my two aunts. Yeah, cause they're the ones who like practically raised me. The snake represents my stepdad. He basically raised me as well since I was two. Can you give the meaning behind the snake? Cause that just sounds bad. Like the snake reminds me of my stepdad. It sounds like you're calling him a snake. <laughs> okay, so when I first met him, I was always fascinated with tattoos as a kid. And he had like a little Chinese symbol here. And I was like, what is that? And he basically said that that is what represents just like his month of his birthday. So ever since then, I thought that was so cool. And it was a snake because that's his animal because he's born in October. So I got that for him and it's in the same area. And then this one, I had a tattoo here and I ended up covering it up because I didn't like how it was done. And I ended up just getting like this fairy and basically it represents like mind over heart and like um, my mind is always running around in circles and stuff like that. It's basically like mental health thing for myself. This one up here I got last week. Um, this is my cousin's eye, my firstborn of all my cousins and basically it represents like whenever I feel shattered she reminds me that pretty much like life goes on and she gives me the strength to keep pushing. This one here is my sister. She wrote out I love you and I just got it done and I just got the butterfly above it because I thought that it's like a nice little thing to put right above it. Going to my rib tattoo, it says nothing that's worth anything comes without pain. The quote is from 30 Reasons Why and that really resonated with me because it's true. Especially in my life. So, my last one That's is my favorite. Pee Wee. It's a little ghost because Halloween is my favorite holiday. Even though it's bad and stuff like that. I just have good memories tied to it growing up. And it's my best friend's favorite as well. So we both got matching tattoos of a ghost. When are you going to get my name tattooed on you? Never. <laughs> tattoos but that's all my tattoos and your meanings you all guys right. have asked for this for a long time so there it is you finally got it yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it Guys, Team Jose is like the best team on this channel. That's all I'm gonna say. Every time we come out, it's always a W. Anytime, if you're, don't, don't come in. Don't come in with none of your BS. Don't come in with none of that sass. Nobody needs that team on this side, all right? What? You got anything you're gonna say? 
Yes, Team Janice. And like I said, Team Isaiah is the team of the beyond. All right, that is all I have to say. Time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Rigo or Sonio. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for your love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe to your post notification bells out so you notify whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to comment Team Isaiah because that is for sure how you're going to get a post notification shout out. With all that being said, with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next video.